Hey, what's going on everybody? Monty here. Today's video, I just wanted to go over resizable bar. Uh, it looks like Nvidia just announced that today on the 30th of March. Here, uh, I did create a previous video. I'm going to link it down in the video description down below. It shows how to install it, enable it on an Asus motherboard. So an Asus motherboard, I'm using the Z490 uh, Maximus uh, 12 Hero Wi-Fi version. Anyways, I'm just going to read over this brief description of what resizable bar support is. If it's something you want to skip past, I'll leave uh, I'll leave chapter markers down there. You can click through. Pretty much what it says here on the NVIDIA side is resizable bar utilizes an advanced feature of the PCI Express to increase performance in certain games. Uh, so resizable bar, what is it? Uh, it's supported for GeForce RTX 3000 series graphics cards and laptops. So any 3000, 3060, 3070, 3080, 3090, um, same with the laptops as well. Uh, so desktop users, to take advantage of the resizable bar, uh, you'll have to have a 3000 series graphics card. Also with the supported vBIOS. So vBIOS is the graphics card BIOS, and you can download that. I downloaded mine from EVGA. You would have to download yours from the whatever brand graphics uh, card 30, 3000 series that you're using. Uh, compatible motherboard as well. And also motherboard BIOS update. I covered that in my previous video. Again, I'll link that down in the video description below as well. Also, you have to have the latest GeForce Game Ready driver uh, just came out. I did update mine as well. I'm going to kind of just glance, uh, you know, over a lot of this. But um, so it just says here, resizable bar is optional PCI Express interface technology. As you move through a world in a game, GP memory VRAM uh, is what it's commonly known as. Constantly transfers textures, shaders, geometry via very small uh, CPU to GPU transfers. Uh, so more or less, this is just giving it more space to do the transfer for the most part. Uh, what that means is less of a bottleneck in the memory and it could just shoot the stuff right over. You get more FPS. It's free FPS, right? Uh, they're saying games uh, five to 10%. Uh, I've seen different articles say up to 12%. All right, so what does it support? Uh, what do you have to have? Desktop CPU and chipset support, AMD 400 series, 500 series, uh, Zen 3, 5000 CPU, uh, Intel 10th gen, Intel 11th gen, Z490, H470, B460, H410. Says all 11th gen chipsets available as of March 30th, which would be today. Uh, so pretty much any of those 10th gen, 11th gen processors are gonna be supported on that. Um, as far as the motherboard supports, it's saying Asus, ASRock, Colorful, EVGA, Gigabyte, by MSI. Uh, you have to go to those manufacturer websites. You're going to have to download that latest BIOS update. Once you do that, um, once you get the BIOS update on your motherboard, you get the BIOS update on your graphics card. You can do what I'm doing, what you see here on the background. I already did a display driver uninstaller. That's a good, really good app that you can use to uninstall your previous graphics drivers. I downloaded the latest graphics drivers from NVIDIA. And you can see here now I am installing EVGA Precision X. It's the latest version that has the uh, resizable bar support on it. You're going to see that here in just a second. All right, you can see here I'm doing a firmware update on my graphics card from EVGA Precision X. All right, now you can see I got Precision X open. You can also see down there it says res resizable bar uh, enabled on the EVGA Precision X1 app. Also, you can pull it up here on the NVIDIA uh, control panel. You just go to the um, support information. I'm going to show a screen grab here in just a second of that. Currently, I'm just setting all my settings right now for um, for precision. It reset it all for me. So my fan curves, um, you know, those type of things. Since I am using a, a hybrid cooler, I believe the uh, the liquid the the pump is is controlled manually. It's probably just sitting at 100 percent. But as far as like the fan fan curves, I do have those Noctua fans that I did install, the Chromex. Uh, those are connected to the uh, header for this EVGA. Um, all-in-one hybrid cooler. So I'm able to control those Chromax fans via the app. Now you can see here, I'm just finishing my, uh, finishing setting up the control panel. You can see here, I do got that pulled up. Um, the system information inside NVIDIA control panel, that's to show that the resizable bar is enabled. You have to see that it's enabled in Precision X 
also enabled in the NVIDIA control panel and also enabled in GPU-Z. Now check it out. This is a screen recording. You're able to see here I'm running the latest BIOS version on my EVGA RTX 3090 for the Win 3 Ultra. I also got the X1 installed. You can see that on the left. On the right side, you can see the NVIDIA control panel. See where it says resizable um, bar support is yes. So all three apps are showing yes. Uh, I did check the uh, double check the BIOS. That says uh, 4G decoding. That's on. Uh, CSM's disabled. Uh, that's crucial. If you have that on, it's not going to work. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll leave all the articles and everything uh, down in the video description down below. Just wanted to share this with you guys. I did make a previous video you could see a month or two back regarding this. So I just figured it'd be helpful. As you can see here, here's a video right here. I actually have it pulled up. So yeah, this is how to install Asus BIOS update with a resizable bar. Um, again, I'll link that video down in the video description below. It is very, very informative video. And also I overclocked my, my uh, 10900K to 5.2 gigahertz all core. Really, really easy to do, really simple. Here, this is just precision. You'll have to download the latest one. Um, so make sure you download the latest of everything, the latest BIOS update for both your graphics card and the latest BIOS update for your motherboard as well as well as download the latest EVGA Precision X1 and what's the most important the latest graphics card driver for your graphics card NVIDIA 3000 series only also latest GPU Z supports resizable bar again you got to download everything at the latest you shouldn't have any problems again if you have any problems drop it down in the comment section down below I'm here to help I got my discord name down below as well uh, I got my TikTok down there as well uh, like comment uh, subscribe I uh, hope you guys found this video informative. Um, this is, I uh, just wanted to share this with you guys real quick. It just dropped today. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll leave all the links down, uh, down below. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.